All right, how to set up AOVs or how to export out render passes in Octane. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna jump into my render AOVs. Once you do that, come in here and you're gonna go quick add node tree. Now, once we're on this node here, which you can see, this is basically how we export out our AOVs. One little tip here, come in here and just name this something here. So I'm gonna go like test, right? Then what we're gonna need to do is in our side panel, we're gonna need to click on view layers. Once we're on the view layers, we're going to need to make sure that this is also the exact same name. You won't see it. Everybody fails here. Make sure you select test. Now this, our AOV groups is the same as it is over here. Now we're good to go and start exporting out our passes. It's super easy. This is where we click on the AOV one. Let me zoom in for you guys here. If I click on AOV one, boom, here is all of our passes here. You got beauty surfaces, diffuse, you know, reflection, all of that indirect. I would just literally say, I want my render layers for my black shadows, pop out that. I will come over here. We'll say we want auxiliary crypto mat. So once you do that, you've You've got these little boxes here to see if this is working here what you do is we'll go back to blenders compositor and then if i bring up my node in blenders compositor if you look here we've got black layer shadows crypto mats they all pop out here from here you can easily just add in your file output node and export these out just to make sure that when you're in your aovs make sure see again like it doesn't show anything click on your tab up oh, there it is test boom it pops down and then you're ready to go hope that helps smash that like button peace